future. Talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life. From Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at ubnradio.com. <laughs> Pandora Box Show. Yes, we do a lot of interpretive dancing to this. Uh, I was a mime in a box. Did you see? <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I don't want to make it any shorter. I'm like, no, but I like to kind of do. It's it gets us in the mood. A little interpretive yeah. dancing. Yeah. A little shake a shimmy. Nerd out a little bit. Yeah, life is tough in LA, life guys. Is hard, you it's guys. It's totally sunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my um, god, it's like 75 degrees, you guys. I oh. don't know. Like the wind blew my hair a little bit. <gasps> oh my god, I, what'd you do? Did you I don't call know. did you make an appointment? I, well, I went it? home. <laughs> I went. <laughs> <laughs> I've had those days though, where like you look in the mirror and like you're like, I can do this, and then you get in the car and you look in the mirror, you're like, Nope. <laughs> Turn right back <laughs> around. Um I used to get out of going to school when my hair didn't look right when <gasps> I was young. You did. What did you tell your mom? I would cry because I'm like, I can't <gasps> get my hair to look <laughs> right. <laughs> and I would be really crying. It was a really, <laughs> it was um, probably a mental issue. <laughs> well, but not much has changed. I could not get the hair <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well, what has changed? Clearly, if you've seen this, you know that I don't give a shit about my hair because I haven't had it cut in so long because I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> it's and it's a good thing. I've just been really busy and I haven't had time to get a haircut. And I'm like, every time right. I look at it, I'm like, I, I just really. It's the beauty of wigs. I don't know what I'm becoming <laughs> right now, but well, you're becoming not LA. Scent <gasps> of a. You're becoming of... Silver Lake. You're becoming hipster. Oh. You don't care ah. what you look like. Your jeans are gonna get tighter. I know. I, no, I did shower. You're today. gonna start listening <laughs> to Interpol. <laughs> oh. It's gonna be bad. Well, it's all right. I mean, hey, hipsters are people too. Are they? Oh, I just burped. <laughs> you just, that's how you feel about them. We have these big uh, bowls of uh, oh, noodles. Oh, we had this noodle soup across the street. Now I'm like, I'm too full we to We went for a little, little snack, and I was expecting like this tiny little bowl. And it's like three it's feet like, tall. It's like a bucket. Yeah, <laughs> you it's like, turn it around and make a drum out of it. It was so big. Oh, my God. We totally it just admit, admitted we ate <gasps> carbs and noodles. No, we, I didn't In eat LA. The, no, I oh! didn't eat the noodles. I only <laughs> ate the broth, and I already threw it up. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm pooping it out right what now. What about you, fat ass? <laughs> mm. Ew. Oh. Uh. I'm Hendra Arbach, by the way, in <laughs> oh, case you didn't know. Did not say that? <laughs> this, oh, is yeah. my, this is my <laughs> hostress. Hostress? Some out the hell. Yeah, hostress. Hostress. Oh, I wish I was more of a hoe. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. Right, that <laughs> that went nowhere. So white. That yeah, <laughs> that was a little white. That was so white. It was not white. <laughs> It was what? right. It's so white, it was not right. Okay. But I was, so I was like, so white, it was, so white, it was not white. white. Right. Uh, uh, it was so Stupid. white, it was. It didn't even it, exist. In my head, it oh. sounded funny. I'm sure it did. I'm sure a lot of things sound funny in your head. Oh, no. I mean, I know. <laughs> they're, not, they're not all gems. They're, well, you know, that's... All right. It's cool. But but most of them are. <laughs> right? Yes, thank you. I just you. said something nice to you. It hurt. Oh, thanks. Oh, your vagina Can we edit now. that out? What, what did you say? <laughs> does your vagina hurt now? Because he says something nice. She does. <laughs> she's she's like, like, why did she's you do like, that? Urgh. We talked about this. <laughs> I like to stay angry. <laughs> she is. Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> she is the Venus flytrap of vaginas. She is. Oh, yeah. gross. Oh, I know. So we were gross. just talking about how it's so weird that, <laughs> that if somebody calls you now and you're like, wait, somebody's calling me. Oh, my God. Can Why did you text? text me? I know. Uh-oh. And then you look on the voicemail and it's like three minutes. You're like, oh no, the uh, world is coming to an end. a bad one. And then you're like, oh, it's just from my mom. Three minutes actually yeah. really short. It's fine. <laughs> but like if anybody else calls, I what? Know. And then what I would say that want? how my mom's always like, Oh, this is your mom. Oh, I don't know why I said it's your mom. You know it's your mom. Oh. 
<laughs> I, it's very cute. I want my mom and your mom to hang times. out. My mom that sounds would be like hilarious. Not in so much in real life, but on the phone, she has a phone voice that's kind of like Glenda the Good Witch. <gasps> that's kind of adorable. Yeah, it was funny when you were a kid and she's kind of yelling at you. Not she'd never really yelled a lot, but she could be like Are a you little a heated. Good child or a bad child? <laughs> she could be a little heated. Then she'd answer the phone. It would totally switch off, and you're like, <gasps> "That's awful." <awful-bar. laughs> Are you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know why. I, I think we all have voices in our heads for our parents, like even if they don't actually sound like that. Like whenever I describe to people and my mom, like she doesn't come to my shows anymore because I don't talk about her anymore. <laughs> She's like, why, did, you don't, why didn't you do the joke about me and the cat? <laughs> like, you know, she doesn't sound like that at all, but that's yeah. what I hear. The cat. Because no one cares, <laughs> mom. <coughs> Nobody cares. My mom. <coughs> I, don't die. Uh, 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 bird flu. That's that's really good for <laughs> radio. For a radio a podcast live show to just mm, hack it all up. I know, right? Oh, oh my God! She's, ah, she's ah, winking and hacking. I'm winking the at camera. the camera in case oh you're watching god. it. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Everyone's. <laughs> oh look, our numbers just went down. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh zero. Zing. We can't negative. even see the numbers. How did they? How do we have negative numbers? I know. <laughs> Wait, why is the power off? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why is my seat ejected? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I made that. Oh, <laughs> terrible. I know. I know. Um, I, w- I have kind of a man crush. <gasps> man crush. But it's kind of lady crush, too. Um, did you see that Meryl Streep dressed up like Donald Trump? <gasps> no. <laughs> Oh my god, bring it up immediately. Oh my god, it's complete. Oh, does she have like the orange spray tan and like the epic. Like it is just priceless. Oh my god, it's I love It's the best Meryl thing Street. that I've seen on the internet <gasps> today. Was she doing like wh- Oh my god, <laughs> like, oh my god, everybody must see this. She, it's oh. just brilliant. It's <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. What was she doing it for? No. Fun? I don't remember. I, cause <laughs> I, I, I was just laughing so to hard. To say this is what you don't want, America. Oh my God, she looks so <laughs> bad, which is what she's supposed to. I know. Just proof <gasps> that Meryl Streep can play. Look at her. Anyone. She's wearing like a fat suit. And, like her hair still looks better than his, though. It's a lot fuller. That is a <laughs> lot fuller. Ooh. Well, I'm going to say, I don't think anything human or uh, man made or in nature can replicate what is on Trump's head. No. Because it just is defies scientific right? rules. Speaking of California, did you all vote today? You better. Go do it. No matter If you're feeling the burn, oh. if you're standing with her, do what you need to do. Just get there and vote. Well, Hillary right? does have enough delegates to get the nomination. Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty... But you don't want to like say it until no, it's I mean, official. It, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, people were pissed that, that people were saying it, but I'm like... Or they made an announcement. Associated Press made an announcement. But it's like, yeah. well, if she has it, then it's why can't they make the announcement? It. Yeah. I mean, well, last they night, would do that if anybody yeah. had gotten it. Last night, Hillary was like, well, let's wait until tomorrow. <laughs> but the memes are already going around of like a picture of Hillary that says, honey, get the... U- all we're going back home (laughs) (laughs) well yeah i mean i'm not going to tell you who to vote for i am just going to tell you that uh whoever (laughs) you're very heated for in the democratic party please please do not just say i'm not going to vote when it comes to the time that the the democratic uh nominee is in place and please we need that you cannot yeah in good conscience, let Donald Trump become president right. of this United States. I'm saying I actually had like a moment. I kind of had a hard time walking into the polling place and watching these people walk up to the Republican. It just made me like, <gasps> don't do it. Like I, I. Well, who can they even vote for now? I, <sighs> Everybody's gone. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's it's, it's so just gross. you guys. Y'all can not vote. Y'all I, can stay I, home. I know that vote. every every Republican is not batshit crazy. No, no, no. And I know that there's a lot of Republicans but just that are embarrassed. The fear to be Republican. of like if you're if you punch that tr- oh Trump no no no. Well, no, the thing no, is, no, yeah, no. and it's like no 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 no, no please don't please don't. I mean, don't. I, just like, don't. I wanted to be like hey hey I know like and a lot of them were were elderly you know all, like I have to say every all the the elder, elderly people were going to Republican and all these like young kids were coming and, and coming to Democrat. But I don't know. I just, when people are like Trump, I'm like, okay, why do you like Trump? And they're like, I want to make America great. I'm like, cool. But no. do you have any idea what that actually means or what? No. I'm like, okay, well, no. how about this? What policies of Donald Trump's do you actually agree with? And they yeah. cannot answer. No. They uh, well, just say make America great. Yeah. And the thing is, um, okay, so what 
is wrong with America right now? Right, they can't America's answer that great either. Right now, why don't we make it better and more tolerant you know, and more? The you things know? that it's not great at are it's the things that the world isn't fucking great at right now. Yeah, like destroying the environment. Yeah. Um, the things we're not great at is what Trump is we're not, for. We're not great for equal pay for women. Yeah. Uh, we're not great on racism. And all those things Trump is like basically represents. It's preaching. So I'm like... So how are you going to make... That's not great. There's this whole article about how... Um, that he's preaching to like this this poor community, but he's so all his views are really against that. Like right. all and all Republicans are against like right. helping poor people out at all. Right. Like they're totally about the one percent, uh-huh. and it's like, okay, they. So it's you're just this you're weird, making it great for you. You're is this it weird trickery? 1%. I don't know. He fooled me. <laughs> oh, did he? Oh, did he? No, you just you're God. just a fool. Well, you're just. I mean, if that if it if he becomes president, you just watch the rest the rest of the world go. Uh, well, they bye. can't all move to Canada, <laughs> but they'll not, try. I mean, no one in the rest of the world is going to respect us at all. No, like it's done. Like people will be like, we'll become the joke nation. Right. Oh God, that's horrifying. Yeah. Mm-mm. I'm taking a sip of my tea. You're such a lady. It's not really a tea, like so. But on an, on another note, Madonna and Obama are appearing together on the Tonight Show. Are they really? Yeah. When? They're gonna sing tonight? a song. No, um, yeah, no, they're they're oh they're gonna be on the show t- together tonight, How which fun. is kind of fun. Dang, talk about two powerhouses. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, security is gonna yeah. be fucking. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, fun, fun, fun. So I have a little, I have a little straight girl moment that I need to address. <laughs> straight girl says. But first, let me take a selfie. Okay, you were talking about like women and this shh, and that. I'm taking a selfie. Oh, sh- <laughs> shut up! I hate you. Um, speaking of women and things that we have to deal with, um, why the fuck is the Bachelorette on? Why are people watching the Bachelorette? Have you ever seen the Bachelorette? Okay, guys, I know that I'm a straight girl. I'm is, supposed but... to like it, but that that show, it's like it's so it's awful. It's so especially like the Bachelor where they put all the women. In the house, it's yeah. so it's awful for women. Oh, it's mean. It's oh, it degrading. Is. It's why I watch it. It's <laughs> awful. It's so bad. It's like psychological warfare that they do. Like first of all, I was thinking about it. The Bachelor. Okay, so it's about one white guy who's always like well off to do financially, really close with his mother, pursuing twenty five hot girls. I'm like that show should be called The Serial Killer. First of <laughs> all, second of all, let's talk about The Bachelorette because that show is about 25 hot guys pursuing the one beautiful girl with the personality, like the bubbly personality and the perfect body, and everything that they do is amazing. She thinks everything's so amazing. I'm like, that show should be called Typical, is what I think. <laughs> um, and furthermore, it's just awkward to watch. Like, they're all vying for attention, trying to, like, outdo each other or do something. Mm. Like, it's so uncomfortable to watch like I thought about it I would seriously rather watch Basic Instinct with my father <laughs> like that sounds less uncomfortable than okay. that show one um, that's how all gay people feel about straight people <laughs> watching okay. them hook up and two um, <laughs> he got me there I I do have to tell you that I, I took my mother to see Basic Instinct <laughs> no you did not whoops because she's a big Michael Douglas fan. Did you know what was going to happen? I did not. I was not fully <laughs> aware of just how <laughs> uncomfortable it would be <laughs> to sit there and go, oh, oh is that? Is that? Is she, oh, 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 she did it. Oh, she my God. She did it. She this, gone done it. I just thought because I was like, you know, like a it's mystery, a thriller. a thriller. It's a detective story. Oh. My mother brought that up like <laughs> last Christmas or something like that. She's like, remember you took me to see Base Against Thing? I'm like, please don't bring it up, Mom. All right. I was doing She's it because. Like, I've been trying to forget. Michael Douglas is her favorite actor. She's got the hots for him. I thought, well, this will be fun. Oh, I'm sure she had <laughs> the hots for him in that moment. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> so Terrible. Yeah. Ooh. Almost as, well, almost I didn't as mean awkward to... as heterosexual sex. <laughs> Trust me. It's unnatural. It is. God says no. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to bring up a painful the world, memory for you. Uh, the world of heterosexual is a sick and boring life. You know, it's like Daria, sad, it's sick, a, sad world. That's a line from <laughs> Female Trouble. Oh. John Waters, if you didn't. I, don't, I didn't remember that one. Um, Aunt, 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 Aunt Ida. Oh, she wanted her son to be uh, gay. Oh, yeah, 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 or not her son. Her, um, I don't think it was her son. I think it was her her nephew. Well, it doesn't matter. Who cares? 
<laughs> she hated hate, she hated straight people. Well, <laughs> and walked around in that leather cat suit. <laughs> I want a leather cat suit. I worry you're working in an office. Have children. <laughs> <laughs> the world of heterosexual is a sick and boring life. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, I need to watch starting that to movie. feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've got some guests, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we are so we, um, organized. Yes. Uh, well, we have um, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race season six. Mm-hmm. Kelly Mantle Yay, is in Kelly. the house. And she's repeat offender. Repeat offender yes, Kelly Mantle is offenders. back. And we are also having from RuPaul's Drag Race season Three, so I'm just trying to get the numbers right, but three, Jiggly Caliente. Yeah. And she's in town. So I was like, come down and do my radio show, girl. She's done. Um, but I know she's doing a shoot. So I know. I'm so hoping, we're just hoping so that So I'm like, she's is she in the green room or is she not? Well, we'll see. But we'll just work it out and we'll have fun. So whatever. So we're going to play a little break infomercial. Realness. And I'm going to... Take a quick boop and get the guess. Oh my gosh. Bye. <laughs> we're making fitness fun again. Let's feel the body that we're building with workouts of drag. Join the interactive fitness experience for you and your friends. Let's hear for our kick line. Order now at workoutsadrag.com. Let's give back to our body. I'm fitness expert Craig Ramsey, and I'm known for my effective and highly entertaining fitness programming. Let's hear for our kick line. Pandora Box has been a friend and client of mine for a number of years now. And what's unique about our relationship is that we have found a way of making fitness fun again. My legs come out to the side and I peekaboo. There's a lot of wide eyes out there, hi. (laughs) Pandora, let me ask you, why are we adding the drag? We're adding the drag because we want to laugh and have some I'm always adding a little hip, too. I'm tired already. You get to be the star of the show. Get out your phone during this performance and hashtag... That's a drag. Get ready. Oh! And get fit while you're doing it. Let's feel the body that we're building with Workouts a Drag. And that's what Workouts a Drag is all about. Thank you for listening to the Pandora Box Show on UBNRadio.com. Also available on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spreaker, and various other podcast formats. Want to be an advertiser? I think you should. Contact INFO at PandoraBox.com. That's info at PandoraBox.com. There's two X's in box. Don't forget. Yay! Are you tired of boring reps and sets? Want to get fit in a new and exciting way? Introducing Workouts a Drag. I'm always adding a little hip. Makes everybody's butt look good. It's an effective workout with a twist. Get ready. Oh! We're making fitness fun again. Let's feel the body that we're building with Workouts a Drag. Join the interactive fitness experience for you and your friends. Let's hear for our kick line. Order now at workoutsadrag.com. Let's give back to our body. I'm fitness expert Craig Ramsey, and I'm known for my effective and highly entertaining fitness programming. Let's hear for our kick line. Pandora Box has been a friend and client of mine for a number of years now. And what's unique about our relationship is that we have found a way of making fitness fun again. My legs come out to the side and I peekaboo. There's a lot of wide eyes out there, hi. (laughs) Pandora, let me ask you, why are we adding the drag? We're adding the drag because we want to laugh and have some Fun. I'm always adding a little hip, too. I'm tired already. You get to be the star of the show. Get out your phone during this performance and hashtag... That's a drag. Get ready. Oh! And get fit while you're doing it. Let's feel the body that we're building with Workouts a Drag. And that's what Workouts a Drag is all about. Oh, yeah. Get that body, that move, that body. You move, that body, that body. Thank you for listening to the Pandora Box Show on UBNRadio.com. Also available on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spreaker, and various other podcast formats. Want to be an advertiser? I think you should. Contact INFO at PandoraBox.com. That's info at PandoraBox.com. There's two X's in box. Don't forget. Yay!
Are you tired of boring reps and sets? Want to get fit in a new and exciting way? Introducing Workouts a Drag. I'm always adding a little hit. Makes everybody's butt. Hey. Oh, oh my God, we're back. Thank you, studio audience. Uh, with the gorgeous Kelly Mantle. Oh, uh-huh. put it some more. Gorgeous. Oh, you're looking lovely today. Well, I'll, I had I'll... an audition right before this, right down the street on Sunset Boulevard. Oh, you, know. you mean this isn't for us? Yeah, I wish it were, <laughs> but you know, it was for the street corner. I, <laughs> I call them auditions, you know. Girl, I'm sure you That's got good. it. I'm sure you booked every single one of those well, roles. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't know about this one, but I didn't have time to go home and get out of the. You look great, the geesh, though. So I just thought I'd show up like. It's very rock and roll, it. badass, it's sexy. Beautiful. I like Thank it. Thank you. That was what the role was for. <laughs> well, so you got I, it. I got it. You know, uh-huh. hopefully, I'm too bad you're not the cast. I know, I was about to say. <laughs> Shit. And oh, Jiggly Caliente, look how beautiful you look today. Girl, Gorgeous. I've never Jiggly. seen you look better. Wow. So natural and <laughs> it's almost like you're not there. <laughs> Did you lose weight? Like all of it? Because <laughs> everything. Can I call you Jiggly? Not here. <laughs> Can I call you to find out where you are? <laughs> uh, yeah, well. Oh. Where is Jiggly? Where in the world <laughs> is Jiggly Caliente? She might actually be auditioning on the street corner. Well, you know, she's probably well. at the same audition I was just at. She'll probably book it. Mm-hmm. You know. Book a lot of, uh, yeah, corner work. Yeah. Exactly. She's with us in spirit. She's uh, she she's filming is. today. Yes. Yeah. She's, she's doing some things in, in the world of Holly. Weird. You never mm-hmm. know what's going to happen yeah. and schedules change. I can feel her spirit here in my <laughs> panties. I feel Aww. an itch coming on. <laughs> <laughs> feel It's the like burn. a yeast infection. It's just like jiggly. Mm. <laughs> I thought there was a scent of something in the air. And it's not me for once. <laughs> <laughs> Winning. Winning. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So yeah. Kelly Mantle, what's been going on? What's oh new in, in the world of mm. of Ms. Mantle? Of Ms. Mantle. So many things. Well, I've been in the studio recording Ooh. this new album that's supposed to be coming out one of these days, maybe by 2019. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, I'm having a great time. We're jamming and making a lot of music. So Awesome. Yeah. Exactly. Is it original, all original music? That it is. Playing? We have a few covers. I'm doing a few um, 80s covers. We just worked <gasps> up a, a cover of R.E.M.'s Losing My Religion. Oh, that's Ooh. one of the best songs. I know, one of my favorite songs ever. Um, so, yeah. Um, we're actually thinking, I mean, it's so much materials happening because it's all just kind of like gushing out at once so sounds like a personal problem well you know (laughs) said i had a yeast infection what do you want um but yeah so we're thinking about maybe even like you know releasing the original you know all the originals and then doing like a cover album oh that'd be cool i know and i thought i was being cute in the studio one night and i said let's call it cover girl you know like that's yeah. so cute well that's what RuPaul called hers I didn't know that <laughs> I'm like oh shit but at least I have a good mind you know? yeah 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 great minds think alike See? <laughs> it is she beat me to it yeah it's it's tough enough with all different entertainers out there but I think as drag queens we really have to be careful of of doing something remotely similar to uh, another queen, especially if they're yeah. on Drag Race or anything, because well, they yeah. will come. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I mentioned it to someone, because, you know, if, if I hadn't mentioned it, I don't think I would have known, and then I would have been a dumbass and released it. I'm like, <laughs> we've already been that. I'm like, sure. Well, you're like, <laughs> it's a tribute album. I to, know, exactly. To another tribute it's album. all cover songs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, but it's, and it's and it's the same in comedy also. We're always like, oh, I would love to do this, but someone has a joke similar, I can't do it. I know. You know, I It's know. kind of like the code. There's kind of like this honorary code of like, don't be, you can be inspired by stuff and that's amazing, but don't steal shit. Well, and that's what's funny is because a lot of times you'll, you know, there's, you know, I mean, listen, I've heard the, jo- I mean, I, I threw in the joke into my act. Um, if she's got an apple, she's got a banana, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, and I've heard that said several times, you know, just kind of growing up in the bar, you know, and right. from Queens and stuff. And then I was watching a, a stand up comedy special with Ant. Oh and yeah. He said if she's got an apple, she's got and I was like, Oh my god, like people are gonna think of like, you know I know but that from here, so like, you know, <laughs> right. you're always so like iffy, you're like, Oh shit, I didn't realize someone else was saying that. Right. But you know that you didn't you No, know that you exactly. Didn't know. Like you so, know you didn't, right. but yeah. Yeah. exactly. Like, other people I, I mean it's gonna it, happen. So. I mean he, we're all human, we all go through the same things and think of you know, similar situations and things. So it's right. gonna happen. Exactly. Yeah. Jiggly, what do you think? <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, 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 my God. 
good. Stop. Can we get a oh. hashtag of the week on that one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag of the week. <laughs> mm. Hashtag. <laughs> oh, ah, incredible. Oh, God, that was so Stop good. Stop it. Oh Life my God. changing. I think, like, <laughs> I think when you hear things a lot or you pick up on a phrase or something, you really love it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like, I've done it too. Like, I've said things and I'm, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where I got it from. And then I'll see something. I'm like, oh, oh is that where I got yeah, it from? And I didn't I even realize I yeah. had done it and stolen it all these right? years. <laughs> but you know what? E- like, RuPaul says, she's like, all my stuff is stolen. She's like, oh, because she's something she saw or something she liked and right. took it and, and owned it and made it her own. And, well, and, and everyone gets what accused of it. I mean, Madonna's been accused of it since day one. Gaga's right. been accused of it right. since day one. You know, I mean, it's. You know. And then Madonna gets accused of it in reverse. Which is actually Which is actually impossible. Right. right. Like, there there's actually this um there's this petition on change.org to have Mariah Carey and uh, Madonna stop representing the LGBT community because it's embarrassing and they're they're only doing it for publicity and they don't know anything about the LGBTQ community oh. and it's Gaga who oh is the one that's gosh. there. And all these comments are like Gaga did it first and and um, Madonna, they're old. Old people are awful. Oh, uh, and they're just talking oh about my... how great Gaga is and all the things that she's done wow. and all this. And I'm kind of like, you know, it really would probably take you two seconds to Google, Google. Madonna mm-hmm. and the gay history, rights honey. and her AIDS activism and all the thing and how outspoken she was yeah. when you could not be outspoken or right. when you when it wasn't acceptable to be exactly. outspoken. Exactly. And right. everything that she has done for, I mean, just, I mean... Truth or Dare alone is a documentary for gay rights. I mean, um, in some totally. essence, you know. And and then Mariah Carey. I'm sorry, anyone who does an interview in a bubble bath on <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel <laughs> is pushing gay rights forward <laughs> the right way. Oh, if you right. Ask me. exactly. I mean, she I mean, is hilarious. I love every epic. time she's on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen because she's the only guest that he'll actually change seats for. And he sits on the other side oh. because that's her good side. Um, oh, who, wow. Barbara Streisand was like, Rosie O'Donnell, I think, switched her set. But I was going to else. say, Rosie O'Donnell Rosie surely o- doesn't care about her good side. Oh, no, no. She, swi- <laughs> she switched her set. <laughs> but there was somebody actually, like, maybe it was Oprah or some, uh, some like it was, mm. it's kind of like it made a big deal because it was like, oh my God, they're actually changing the set for right. Barbara Streisand. Come on. Wow. My f- but <laughs> with that, <laughs> is when um, when, <laughs> when Barbara came on and she has this white microphone and she sings the song and does this whole thing and Oprah comes up and she's like oh it's incredible and I just where did you get a white microphone I, I don't know, even I know where that. you got a white like that's incredible she's like oh it's one of yours I had them paint it and Oprah <laughs> for a split second was like you painted my microphone. Oh, 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 Barbara. You did what? That would be a clash of the titans. Can you imagine the two of them going at it? Oh, she bought it in her God. mall downstairs in her house. You know she has a mall in the basement of her house. <laughs> I've I've heard that. No, I'm serious. Well, in her Malibu home, she has a mall. Wait, you're not kidding. I'm totally <gasps> not kidding. I actually learned this from doing the gayer play. What's it called? Gay for play? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. RuPaul's new game show, because I had to read a question. One of them was, is this true or false? It's true, she has a mall, and so I Googled it, and I saw pictures of it. I was like, well, I don't see a Cinnabon, so (laughs) it's not a real mall. If it's a mall, I mean, does she just go down there and and just charge things? I know, like, Like, I'm just going to go down down and buy (laughs) something from my I'm just going to go shopping for myself (laughs) today in my own mall. I'll be the checkout oh girl god. and the customer. Oh my god! Can you imagine? I just I'm getting the mental picture over oh. in my house. <laughs> people, people. Well, none yeah. of you are allowed here. And so you know, goodbye. Cher lives right down the street from her, so Cher probably is like, "I'm gonna go to the mall." <laughs> she shows up to bar. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, that's hilarious. A, I know. I want to go visit. Oh, the we mall. have to. I have no. to find out more about this mall. Well, Gaga also talked about it because you know Gaga and Ryan Murphy went and had dinner over at Barbara's oh, house. Oh yeah, and Barbara and her husband and she dinner talked about the trip. mall. Yeah, she got to take a tour of the mall. How big is the mall? Like how many it's stores? It's escalators. Are there? Uh, oh yeah. Oh. oh, like escalators. Oh my! It's like it's like the Bat Cave of shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. It's I, know, like a I don't. I don't, I don't <laughs> think it can get gayer than that. Well, right, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh. Would you like to go to my mall? Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
It's through the tunnel in the back. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that, She's a mall know. walker. You know, she goes down there and just mall walks <laughs> in a crochet sweater. Oh. Oh, well, Jiggly just left to go to the mall. So she bye, 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 Jiggly. Bye, girl. Well, she is such a mall rat. She oh, is. Yeah. Oh, she wow. knows she's there in her true lot. You guys, yeah. do you think she's mad at us? She, like, didn't say anything the whole time. I and what do we say? Oh, God. Oh, she's wow. so oh, well. funny when she doesn't talk. <laughs> Best interview ever. You know, she gives a great interview. <laughs> she sure does. At a girl. At a girl. Um, <laughs> well, we kind of already been like dishing some things, so maybe we should talk about some soapbox yeah. things. Soapbox. Let's announce his vagina. I love that. Mm-hmm. It, her it's vagina like a percolator in- <laughs> insists, <laughs> insists on doing um, some voiceover work. She does. I want to go to the mall. <laughs> Is she sag after? Actually, yeah. Jiggly <laughs> <laughs> Jiggly took Samantha's vagina to the mall. Well, to oh, her. I felt a lot lighter. Mm. <laughs> She's been looking for one for a while, so she <laughs> thought she'd borrow yours. I know. Oh, I know. Trust it's me. It's on a leash. It won't jump in with the gorillas. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if that were the case, if she fell in, they'd be like, uh, no, don't touch the gorilla. Shoot that. <laughs> well, the gorilla would probably be like, I don't want to touch like, no, that. No, no. It's got a yeast. <laughs> infection. <laughs> well, speaking of yeast infections, yeah. um, not to bring it down, but let's talk about <laughs> Trump and the, I, just because I have to say, talk, I mean, he, it's at, well, I don't know where he's at, and it's, the sign is crooked, which I thought was funny, but he's giving a speech and he's pointing it at, at, at a black guy and he's like, look, oh, there's my African American, <sighs> and referring to, and kept referring to him as that. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, what? are you doing hey, yeah. Trump, and you how don't... like I'm just like how are so many people so clueless to right. this? he's not your anything Ignorance. that's a human you don't own well, everything you well and the thing that. I'm like you're making a big deal because one African American is at your your rally and right. because you're so racist that everybody yeah that's you. a problem yeah but it's interesting like and, his um like people, like his his party was saying, "Wow, we're surprised that that bothered anybody." What I thought it was just fine. Well, and even what? what's crazier is the guy that got called out was just on CNN. Was it last night or the, whenever it was? And mm-hmm. he was saying, "I don't, I wasn't offended at all. I don't know why anyone was offended." And I'm uh, like, "Why the fuck are you there?" Number one, right? And yeah. number two, why are you voting? <laughs> What or right? Trump, num- why? You know. So yeah, he uh, he he didn't know why people were offended, and he, but he actually said that he had not decided who he was going to vote for yet because he was still trying to decide between Trump, the liberal. I guess there's a, a I don't know like a independent party Canada and something else and Bernie. But he said I'm not voting for Hillary because she's the racist one. Oh, she oh. is. <laughs> oh. So okay. yeah, coming okay. right from the you know, oh, okay, the mouth of the the man, but not just, Trump, right? But not Trump. <laughs> but not Trump. He, not, he doesn't not understand why anyone who's would had think like, that like was offensive. documented like videos, multiple and, uh, yeah. documented. Well, yeah. the thing is, he. Well, it, I would love for Trump to you know see an Islam out there, and there's my Islam <laughs> right, <laughs> right yeah. there. Let's send him back. You know? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, he he wrote he tweeted something about, I and mean, he always calls her Crooked Hillary. And he's like Crooked Hillary is spreading all these lies about me, posting that video of all these things and blah blah blah. And no. Hillary retweeted him and said. Like you, you literally, literally have said all, said all of those things. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> right. I'm like, there it is. Right. Exactly. I'm like, like there's a video. Like, there, right. it's there. Like, yeah. my favorite it's, thing about BuzzFeed.com, you know, they put, they edit all the things. Like, they don't even have to say, hey, here's Trump being an asshole. Hey, here's Obama not being an asshole. The video, the footage speaks for itself. Yeah. Like, it's just, they just put together clips of things that Trump says. Yeah. And they're not even saying, hey, this is how you should feel about this guy. Because what Trump says dictates how we should feel it's like he's an he's a m- terrible person well yeah i mean you know and it's like i says. don't have a lot of sympathy for the guy no. you know that was standing there um and being called out like that it's kind of like the log cabin republicans i'm like really yeah i mean you're gonna be gay and be a republican there were did i you mean it just doesn't yeah. make any sense to me there was um uh yesterday some people i think it was like on like vine and santa monica i don't know just just up the street from here holding um signs that say gays for trump well yeah there were like four of them what yeah 
What? On Vine in Hollywood. I know. And they look no. like they'd been, you know, hired from like Home Depot parking lot, you yeah. know, to stand there and <laughs> just hold these signs. They had no idea what the sign says. No. You know? I'm sure. It and Trump's going to be sitting them back over the wall once he's, you know, there's elected. my gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's gay and Mexican. I know. Ooh, that's a double hitter. Huh? Vote for me. Oh, Fucking God. idiot. Yeah. It's a nightmare. Yeah. I mean, and it's so funny to see so many Republicans not even endorsing Trump. And I'm like, Good. It's just yeah. insane. See, I don't feel like all it's Republicans. Crazy. Are ignorant or all re- no, it's not that, but it's the Trump Republicans well, I have a problem crazy. with. Yeah, because you know? you know when remember when this all started, we all thought, well, this is funny. This, it's a joke. It's funny. Somebody to watch, say ha ha. No, it's never going to happen. Well, Here we are. It's happening. The, yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I got he got so much press and everything because we're just like, oh my god, and so and I kind of did like some of the things he was saying, not the racist or anything, but the things, but he was just kind of like. Calling things out, like and, initially, and and the the fighting, infighting, and and that was kind of funny to watch. But then us, then you, it keeps going. You're like, you're like, jokes over. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. Okay. Yes, it's not I wonder who he's going to pick for his VP <sighs> candidate. Can you imagine if it's Sarah Palin? Ooh. I mean, that will just there was be a, report, a double. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> well, then she came out for him and made the like. Oh, oh my God, oh, that speech she made. Oh, that wasn't. I wouldn't even call it a speech. I would no. just. Her, I just pictured her with a gun She's in her like, hand. Wow, yeah, Trump! Alaska! Oh, Alaska! <laughs> I can't even do her. Oh God. It's oh hilarious. no. Well, I don't know. Maybe if if. They, they, she was on the bill with him. Maybe people, maybe that would be what people would be finally be like. Okay, enough is enough. <laughs> I, I'm okay. Never mind. I thought about it, but now I'm just kidding. You know. Right. Maybe they, maybe sh- maybe it would be a good thing because then people be like, oh, that's a bad thing. You know. You know? I, I don't feel, know. I feel like there would have to be some Republicans going. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Well, and here? it's a move that he would make because you know he's running against a woman now, so it's yeah. you know, or we yeah. we presume. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's you know. Oh. <sighs> Well, all right. Let's talk about something. I different. voted today. Did y'all vote? <laughs> I, we sure I did. did. Vote, yes. I did too. I mm-hmm. went just like this and voted. Fuck yeah, you did. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I, I did, that. honey. A woman going and, and I, voting for a woman. Yes. I, I hope you peed in any restroom you felt like peeing. I <laughs> did actually. I just uh, kind of tinkled right there. At the <laughs> just let it dribble right it down did. your leg. <laughs> I didn't have time. You know. Well, so there's um, there's a teacher in Alabama, um, Alabama middle school, who's mm-hmm. been placed on administrative leave because oh, she so distributed a math quiz um, that kind of referenced drive-by shootings, <laughs> cocaine, <laughs> prostitution, so bad. Um, and just to read a few of them. Tyrone knocked up four girls in the gang. There are twenty <laughs> girls in his gang. What is the exact percentage of girls Tyrone knocked up? Mm. Um, Dwayne pimps three hoes. If the price is $85 per trick, how many tricks per day must each hoe <laughs> turn to support <laughs> Dwayne's 800 per day crack habit? I know no. the answers to both of those, actually. <laughs> I'm very well versed in this in this area. But now, wait, read the first one again. Tyrone banged how many and girls? Tyrone knocked four. up four girls in the gang. And how, and, but there it are says, 20 girls in his gang. Okay, now wait a minute, wait a minute. There are 20 girls in the gang. Yeah. Because from my own experience, there would be more Tyrones than there would be girls. Yeah. Is this a trick so question? It's a trick question. <laughs> I think it's a trick question. <laughs> you teachers and your you trick know, questions. She's trying to get a trick question. And yeah. did you see the picture of the teacher who gave this test out? It's oh, hilarious. Yeah. She literally looks like Betty Crocker. I mean, she's like this little <laughs> white woman, just like oh, oh, she's like, God. I'm gonna try something new to really get And she's in touch getting ready to kids. retire, <laughs> you know. What? It's hilarious. It's like this is, I don't know, I don't know. Oh my God. I don't know. But you, but you, you, you didn't read this that. one. Pedro got six years for murder. He also got $10,000 for the hit. If his common law wife spends $100 of his hit money per month, how much money will he be left with when he gets out? <laughs> Maybe she just was like... <laughs> uh, I mean, it's out. Maybe she's like she has no fucks left to oh, give. Oh, that is no her. Fucks she's ready to, to retire. Give, she's yeah, like she looks kind of like Betty White. She does. Look like, at her. Yeah. See, look at her. I mean, it's Seriously. not. It's not really you what know, she she's said. sitting at home it's reading so that the night bad. before, going, "This is good." She was on the like. She's she just eating just, a pot cookie. Maybe she's just got a little, you know, a little fantasy about gang life. <laughs> I think and, she does. And some and some BBC. I think she wants and, Tyrone to hit it. <laughs> right. I mean? That's what, That's what I think. I'm saying. I was like, <laughs> she's singing. Uh, Dang, she's uh, like, "Come on, Pedro." 
She's singing the Erica Badu song, Tyrone. <laughs> yes, girl. Can you see her? Yes, girl. Oh, there, God. <laughs> oh, I, that, wow. I'm... I'm of course, it's offensive for kids, but I just think this is fucking I think it's hilarious. <laughs> if my teacher gave me a test like that, so first of all, hard. I would ace it. And second of all, I'd be like, this is the best test I've ever Maybe, been given. I wonder what she's really like. Do, like. do you think she's just really having fun with this? Like, if she's being funny, awesome. But right. if she has no idea, that's pretty bad. I mean, I would imagine at some point she's going to get interviewed like, by ha-ha. somebody. I would really love to Girl. see. Oh, I'll be looking out for her. Her menopause is on reverse, honey. <laughs> she's going <laughs> down into the Comptons, <laughs> just riding around in a low rider, looking for some action with the Tyrone. She's, it's oh like Benjamin God. Button joins a gang. Yeah. <laughs> where, where was this? Um, in Alabama. Alabama. Of course. I was like, really? Was. Not Florida? It seems so Floridian. In Alabama. Oh, yeah. Well, Alabama Middle School. How old do you have to be to that's, be in middle school? That's middle like, school. you're that's like a kid. Like, Fifth and sixth grade, isn't it? That's like, sixth, yeah. th- middle school for well, me is sixth or eighth. But yeah, it's a, it so you're like 11 state. years, 10, 11? But that's like, and today's 11 is like yesterday's that's true. 30. You yeah, know? that's It's true. like with the internet and stuff. They're all like, oh, I've already had sex, blah, 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 you know, <laughs> three kids. And They're like, I mean, no, I, I'm a virgin, just anal. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Well, these kids do I it. Know. I think they're saving themselves for Christ by sticking it up their ass. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's dumb white Christian. It's very dumb white oh, Christian. Boy, I only took it into the butt because Jesus doesn't want my pussy used. <laughs> The Bible says I can take it up the butt and it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. You guys, if only Jiggly were here. Oh, right. Oh. Well, she, that's, she, that's speaking of uh, the butt. Oh, she is a devout Christian. <laughs> she, <laughs> actually, I think she's a Buddhist. She seems very sin. Uh, and actually, beautiful, doesn't she? have you seen the picture of her dress? Beautiful. That, that, it, beautiful. This amazing photo of her as a gold Buddha, like all oh, gold paint. And, nice and I think it's, beautiful. it's so, it's brilliant. It's great. Yeah. Nice. Um, and well, I can tell this is talking about Jiggly that she sent me this. And no. Samantha and I were talking about this oh, before no. the show, and I didn't realize the whole extent of it. But there's a video of this stripper, and uh, she's giving a lap dance to another girl. And I'm like, that girl don't have no panties on. And she doesn't have any panties on. Mm-hmm. So she's dancing around twerking. her. Twerking. Like, twerking. And then she gets up on the chair and twerks on her and and um, poops on her. Like, <laughs> but it's like, but all oh, the look on your face, Kelly. But it's like what? projectile. It like It's like... Diarrhea on a mission <laughs> to get to the other woman's face. Wait, a stripper pooped on Jiggly? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jiggly sent me this video. This no, stripper she sent the video. pooping oh, on, on another girl. She was giving a girl, lap dance. She was giving a yeah. lap dance. And she like, had no it comes on. up and out. <laughs> oh my! Like, and the girl scream. I mean, she how could screaming. you not scream? I mean, I mean, you watch it once, you're like, oh, that looks I mean, uncomfortable. But you watch it again, you're like, oh! Here's the thing, though. Do you still tip her? Right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, maybe, oh. maybe you just stick it, you just wipe with it. Here, I got you something oh, to wipe with. Oh. You're like, is that a trick? I mean, you know, Jumbo's <laughs> Clown Room is one of my favorite places to go. <laughs> and you talk about some dirty, raunchy uh-huh. strippers, honey. I mean, Courtney Act, or Courtney Act, Courtney <laughs> Love. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney Act. Courtney Act used is. to work at Jumbo's Charlie <laughs> <Rotten Stripper. laughs> <laughs> That's before her visa ran out. Oh my God. No, but Courtney Love used to be a stripper there. But I did. Was she really? Uh huh. Oh. And wow. there is a there's a stripper there. She must be at least in her fifties or sixties. And she, the first time I was there, I was like, why are all these guys laying their dollar bills on the <gasps> pole? And she would straddle the pole, or like they have this, you know, bar. It's not a pole, but this bar. And she would straddle it and pick those dollar <gasps> bills up with her JJ. Oh, oh ooh. that's germy. girl, that's dirty. Yeah, it's ooh, germy, honey. That's some germy it's shit. Well, germy, there's but. a um, a strip club in in Rochester, New York, um, called the Barrel of Dolls, and um, the girls have to come out on the stage, which looks like a shooting gallery kind of stage. Oh. They have to walk to the end of it. Put their dollar in the jukebox oh, and then dance. No. That's what they do at Jumpboats. So and I, they go pick their song in the jukebox. Yeah, 
Yeah. And then they so you watch them on stage oh, do that. And one night I was there and there was a pregnant stripper. And so my life was oh my god. I was like, this is the best night oh, ever. Oh my god. You know what? Actually, on my 18th birthday, I went to Jumbo's Clown Did Room. you? Yeah, because my boyfriend at the time was like, come on, it's really awful, but it's so much fun. That's you should come. So much and fun. I was like, I'm only 18. I can't. He was like, no. You no. walk in, you sit at the bar, you, you order a beer, and you act like you belong. And I was like, okay. Yeah. And we walked in, and it was like... It was like cheers with old strippers. Because oh, yeah. you'd walk and they'd be like, Bridget, hey, What's Dora, up, hey. Like Where's all the been? stoppers, all oh, the stoppers, all the strippers would stop and turn around. Hey, everybody. Hey, Bob. And I'm like, oh, yep. my God, this is too familiar. <laughs> oh, love it. Man. Are you still with that guy? Hell no. He was trying to get you to get a job there. So he was trying <laughs> he to must have been. Like, <laughs> take her there and make yeah. some coins. Like, son. This is my girlfriend, <laughs> a.k.a. Oh my, my money maker. God, can you imagine? Tyrone oh has one girlfriend and she's 18. <laughs> Takes her to Jumbo's <laughs> counter. How much money will she make? In <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Well, now that we haven't talked a lot about things that do this, but there's always one topic we do that makes you go, What? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, oh, God. Now there's like, okay, there's a theme, I guess. I didn't know we were going to talk too much about poop. But, well, it's, okay. So yes, it's you did. You knew what you A were Cincinnati doing. man was arrested uh, Sunday after he stripped naked and <laughs> defecated on a U scan at a Kroger. <laughs> Um, he entered the Hyde Park Kroger, Kroger, right? Kroger, Kroger, yeah. Kroger, uh-huh. and exposed his private parts in front of an employee before defecating on store property. He smelled of alcohol and, oh, and had a staggered walk, which I, that's the most shocking part. Well, I mean, really, right? He smelled more than alcohol, honey. But I will, oh, I will yeah. say his, his Ugh. photo, he, he looks like a cereal pooper to me. Like I, I'm like, <laughs> this looks like somebody that he looks like he's shitting in the picture. It looks like, like he would come to your relaxed. house and give you an upper decker. And I don't know if you know what an upper decker <gasps> is no. when they poop in the tank at the toilet. Oh, so then you keep flushing it and you no. can't get rid of the smell. That's oh, an upper decker. I've yeah. never heard of that. That looks like a dude that would give you an upper decker. Oh. You an upper decker, yeah. honey. Oh God, you learn something new every day. And Hashtag w- upper decker. You know oh. what, what really worries me is I am so mildly attracted to him. No. I am. I am like that no. girl that wants to take all those little white trash boys from, is he from Alabama too? Uh, Cincinnati. So, well, there you Close go. Enough. There. Close enough. <laughs> I just want to take him into my home and just say, honey, it's going to be okay. <laughs> you know, I, and you, just give him a body rub and say, I'll, now don't I'm, poop on me. <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, okay. I was going to say, you might want to wash him first. <laughs> And just nurture the shit and out of him. And don't with have a haircut, him. he would be, you know. <laughs> don't have him fun. twerk on you, because we've learned that could be a mistake. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe invest in some, you know, some uh, en- enemas and, and leave oh. them out for him. Oh. <laughs> or a garden hose. <laughs> a garden hose. <laughs> now, is that his mug shot right after he took the poop? Um, yeah, I believe it is. Okay. Well, he well. looks relieved. He yeah. <laughs> 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 nice and light. He, yeah. lo- he looks pretty proud of it too. He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Yeah, I did that. <laughs> I yeah. did that." What's up? What's up? <laughs> I wanted to see how much my poop would cost. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just. It's, I was just what? it's free. <laughs> I was just returning my dinner from last night. I didn't like it. <laughs> just letting y'all know those laxatives work real well. Aisle fourteen, honey. <laughs> That is now. I love that he showed his oh. private parts first. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe that was in, nobody reacted well enough. And oh, right, so he's, he's got to like, really up his game. He's one of up those your game, dude. He's oh, one of those scatters. Yeah. <laughs> he scattered, they, scattered the scanner. He scattered the scanner. <laughs> That's honey. what he did. Do 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 do. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No. Job. Oh my god. Oh, you win oh, all the points for that one. Well, you know, well, Chickley's not here. So <laughs> to do it. On that note, oh Kelly Mantel, god. thank you for being here. Thank you for and, having me. And where can uh, where can the the listeners and viewers find you on the internet? Well, right here on the street corner. Okay. I told you it. No, you can find me at uh, kellymantel.com. It has links to all of my links. <laughs> <laughs> it has links to all of oh. my links. Mm. And Jiggly, where can we find you? Where's the oh, cricket noise? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
And Samantha Hale. Hi. Hi. Back again. Back again. You can't get rid of me. I'm like I I'm like herpes. I just keep showing up. <laughs> Where can we find your various orifices online? At Kroger. <laughs> <laughs> No, you can find me uh, Twitter at and Instagram scatlady. at scatlady.com. No, <laughs> scatlady. No, the Samantha Hale at Twitter and Instagram. I love well, that. I, I love know. that. I love that. On me, Pandora Box. You can find me on PandoraBox.com. There's an X Drex in, bo- in box because it marks the spot. I kind of fucked that one up though. But <laughs> okay. there's two X's in the box. Know. Never mind. I say it every week. It's a great tagline. Yeah, <laughs> it worked really well. You should learn it. <laughs> 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 Uh, Bye. Bye. Thank you.